Hello again, welcome to Timeless Me by Mrs. C. Today we're gonna to be looking at a DIY denim jacket. So I got this jacket from J. Crew, I believe it was on sale. So I've had it for a while, but I wanted to do something different with it. So right now I'm setting up my space. I got something hard and flat to work on just so that my painting doesn't get messed up. And these are my colors. I'm gonna be starting off with cool colors. Uh, picture I'm going to be making today is Starry Night and I'm using our acrylic paint um, mainly because it won't wash off if I ever need to clean it really the color will stay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to be stenciling my backdrop so um, the one thing to know about this process is you don't have to be perfect um, I'll be messing up quite a bit during this video um, but I'm just stenciling in um, Kind of the middle part of my picture so that'll kind of give me um a way to know what it is that i'm painting and where um you want to give yourself uh kind of markers within your painting as you're doing this and again if you mess up that's okay so the bottom part of my diy art jacket is going to be green um so i'm going to paint that in green now i got kind of <laughs> frustrated with the brush because it was taking too long so i use a sponge instead and it pretty much got the job done and now i'm gonna go on top of the green or above the green rather i'm gonna go in with some blue and so i'm gonna do that whole entire area between the green and the white line in blue and then next i'm gonna be painting in the next area which is white the good thing about acrylic paint is that um you do have to sometimes give it time to dry it doesn't take that long to dry depending on how thin the layer is, um, but you can layer on colors on top of it. So this is really just the first layer of paint in my painting. So that's the white part. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is on the top part, I'm gonna put in my blue. And again, I'm gonna be using the sponge. So now my um, backdrop of my painting is in. And again, you don't have to do the, this is just a picture of the painting. You don't have to do the exact same thing that you see in the painting. Again, this is yours. So do whatever it is that you want to do and you can make it your own. So one of the other things I'm going to start doing now is start putting in the stars. This part is the moon. And so I'm just going to be drawing in or painting in rather on um, the circles where the moon and the stars are going to be. And then um, the other thing that I'm also doing just to help me with placement is um, this like large black bushy tower <laughs> that you see here. Um, I'm gonna be putting in like where exactly I'm gonna put it. So I'm just gonna put a black dot to mark that on the top of how far up I want it to go. And then the base of it of how wide I want it to be because it does start narrow at the top and then it gets wider at the bottom. So I just wanted to put that in. I was starting to draw it and then I was like, oh no, I have other stuff that I need to draw behind it. So that's why you see that black line there. Um, but essentially what I'm doing now is I'm gonna start adding in some of that white detail, that white swirl and also um, just putting and mixing in some colors. So the colors again that I'm mixing in, I'm using some white and a little bit of the blue. Um, the paint underneath the white kind of didn't dry, but it was okay. It was actually really good um, because it kind of gave me the texture that I wanted. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting in the circles. I'm kind of twisting in um, my brush or Whatever technique that you want to use, again, I'm not an artist, <laughs> so whatever te technique you want to use to put in the um, stars is okay with me. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, a part of the backdrop is kind of hilly, and so I'm kind of going to be drawing in the barrier of where the hills and the sky, that mountain type of area meet. And so that's what I pretty much did here. And what I did was I just blended in some of the colors and again, added in some texture. Again, if you guys, if you mess up, do not worry. Um, nobody is gonna know that you messed up. So just keep going. The next thing that I did was I put in my tower. And so I, again, I just put in this swirl pattern. Um, I kind of did mess up with this because the green part on the left, it really shouldn't have been there. It should have really been blue, but that was again, okay. 
um, I just kept going. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the stars. And again, I'm just blending everything in. So now I'm going to my warm colors and I have a mixture of reds, um, yellow, yellows and green. I'm gonna be mixing in these two uh, yellow colors. One is kind of a mustard yellow and one is kind of a sunshine yellow. I wanted something in between that, so I just mixed them both together with a little tiny bit of red. And so that's what I'm gonna be using as the center part of my stars. So again, I'm just gonna be as careful as I can be so that it doesn't get anywhere. And if you do ever mess up and the paint gets anywhere else, if you get some cold water, really quickly before it dries and um, get it out, it'll normally just all come out. So it shouldn't be that bad. So um, working with acrylic paint can be um, a bit of a challenge because it does dry so quickly. But if you know how to use it, um, it can come out really great. And so again, I'm just coming in with these stars and I'm gonna be adding in like that textured look of the strokes that um, Van Gogh uses in the painting later on once I'm done with um, this first layer, which is putting in the rest of my stars. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is do my moon. So I'm gonna kind of make a C, like a big C, and then on the inside, I'm gonna make another C, and then I'm gonna connect both ends, and then all you're gonna do is just fill in the middle. And then once you fit in the middle, or fill in rather the middle, you can kind of like, um, I had to kind of put a little bit more of a point on the moon so it didn't look like a literal C. <laughs> and so um, you can just do that. And again, guys, if you mess up, just keep going. It's your own fashion and work of art. And so um, just keep going with whatever it is that you're doing. The next part that I'm gonna be doing which is actually a little bit more challenging for me are all those little houses um, that kind of come from the forefront and then go to the background. And I'm starting with that large um, steeple of that church. I'm guessing it's a church in the back. So again, it's just kind of giving me some uh, room for the spacing of how I want to do everything. So I just put in those little houses. I use different colors. Again, it doesn't look exactly like the painting but if you were to see it you would say oh that's starry night so you want at least people to be able to recognize the painting whatever picture you choose so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to start um drawing in and outlining all of those little houses sorry about the focus <laughs> and um after i'm done with that you're going to see that in a second i'm gonna just going to go around and do all of that and then after I'm done with that, this is what it looks like. And again, it doesn't need to look perfect. You want it to look kind of um, vintage -y and rustic. At least that's the look that I'm going for. I didn't want it to look too, too clean. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this kind of brick red color. And I'm gonna go in and um, I'm gonna be using that for the uh, big tower piece in the forefront. And you can kind of see in this um, depiction of the painting that there's some detail in there that again kind of gives this part of the painting some dimension. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of, you know, freehanding where I want these swirls to be. And don't be afraid to play with around with the color and mix colors in. Um, this paint that I got was really good. I'm glad I got so many colors. So I was able to mix in a lot of stuff. So you can see now I'm almost finished with my painting. I'm gonna be adding in some more detail, some bushes, some lines, some texture into this. And right now it's looking really good. So you could see here that I'm starting to go in. I'm starting in the um, upper right hand corner of my painting on my jacket. And I'm just putting in that, like those line strokes that um, Van Gogh has in his painting. And so all of that dark blue part, that was my first layer is going to be on the bottom and then lighter color is going to be on top. And the next thing that I'm doing, um, I'm going to be doing a border of white and you can kind of see the other details that I put in the other part of the painting. And this again is the final product. And so I, I really like it. I can't wait to wear it. It's going to be hanging and drying right now. And I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. Um, please remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Timeless Me by Mrs. C, and like. Thanks, guys.